Hey guys, wanted to do a quick little video. By quick, I'm in the middle of trying to rush out of the house. I got a thing for one of the girls that I want to go take photos of. And I've thought about trying to do this video a little bit. This may get cut a few times. I don't know. We're going to try to do one take and get it done or else it's going to be put on the burner. It's going to go in the trash. But how to pick the perfect camera bag. Obviously, I can't do this because I keep buying camera bags because I haven't got the perfect one. But I now have a process of what I go through on picking a camera bag. And it's pretty ridiculous you have to do this. And part of the reason why I think videos like this are so important or why camera bag videos, camera gear videos are so important is there's no camera shops anymore. I mean, it's just, at least in my area, closest one's like two and a half hours away. Uh, the next one's like three hours in the complete opposite direction. So for me to get my hands on some actual gear, it's just very unlikely to ever happen that I can take five hours out of my day to go look at a camera bag and see if it fits my needs. If they happen to have it in stock, they don't stock as much as what B&H does, that's for certain. But uh, anyways, one of the things that I want to point out is like this camera bag here. See if we can get it all the way in here in frame or not. This is a 10 liter bag. Great. Cool. This bag here. See how much more of it's in the frame? It is a 10 liter bag. This bag here is a nine liter bag. Numbers, um, there's no, nobody's actually uh, making people follow any kind of a standard here. And a lot of these numbers are not accurate they're fidged there's no nobody's holding anybody accountable to say hey you said it's 10 liters if it's 10 liters liters are an obscure measurement in some ways because you can come up with liters in more than one direction it's a, a measurement of volume but that volume doesn't necessarily mean it's going to fit your gear so what i'm getting at right now is what I like to do is I like to take my primary stuff that I like to carry with me. The main use items that I know I'm going to grab. And I usually start with the biggest. And one of the lenses that I use probably, I'm not going to say the most, but my 50 to 140. So I think it's equivalent of, I don't know, 70 to 200 version of a lot of people's lenses. But the Fuji 50 to 140 is a very heavy use lens of mine. I like this lens. It does sports, it does plays, it does show choir, it does soccer, softball, whatever. This is a lens that gets taken with me. Usually if it has anything to do with my kids or <coughs> sometimes even on photo shoots, depending on how things are going. So a lot of my bags anymore... I make sure that this kind of fits in to what I'm doing. Another thing that I like to kind of point out is, we'll get to this bag much later, is, uh, you know, we're all, what all else am I taking? So like this bag here um, is set up for my everyday kind of bag right now. So I got my camera, I got the 18 millimeter on it right now. I've been uh, shooting a lot of primes lately, wanting to get into practice. 33, shake the table all up, make you drunk. 50, F2, great little lens there. And the 90 millimeter. And with that, I can do, you know, that's what I like to carry with me every day, just because it's fun and I enjoy it. The big thing is, is making sure that, you know, when I go to switch things up, how I have that is I can easily just take this, finish putting these back how I want them, 50, 33, my 50 to 140. Downside to this, 
yes, it fits. Yes, that closes. That's one of the things when I was worried about buying this particular bag, whether that was going to work or not. You notice I have something hanging out over there. I use this PGY Tech. I don't even know what this little, I think they call it like a beetle. Is that what it's called? It, it's a knockoff of uh, Peak Designs capture clip thing. Throw this on the strap. I like having a camera out when I'm going to these school functions and these events because it's right on that strap. It tucks underneath my left arm the way that I sling my bags over and just works out really, really well that way. So, oh, six o'clock. My town has a six o'clock whistle. I don't know about your town, but I think it's kind of cool because it keeps me in check. I wish I had a, like a 10 o'clock whistle as well to let me know I need to be heading my butt to bed. So the things that I like to do when picking a camera bag is I like to get all my equipment that I know I want to be using it for. Now, whether it's going to be a Zoom primary bag. Oh, yeah, that fits nice. I hadn't tested that one yet. Um, or a prime bag or just an everyday carry it everywhere kind of bag. I like to make sure that I get everything organized out that I'm going to be carrying with me, taking, having handy that I want. So I know it sounds kind of silly to do all this, but I wish I would have been more thoughtful in doing this beforehand and actually just getting all of my gear out and about, seeing it on the table, knowing what all I want to be packing with me at all times. Car keys, card wallet, call business cards. Um, what else is in this thing? Yeah. Vitamins. Little right in the rain pouch. Really like this little thing. It goes everywhere with me, either in the camera bag or out. Um, hero clip. That's tucked back under here. I'm not going to take that off right now. But by doing this, I get all this stuff out. And when I'm shopping for a camera bag to try to replace it, I want to make sure that one, it can fit my biggest, widest, tallest lens that I want to be carrying with me at all times. I also want to make sure that it can have small compartments for my tiny lenses and stuff. I like to be able to use a bag now for more than just one thing. I have a couple different lens setups or different shooting styles that I like to, you know, take with or like to have available. Oh, and I forgot this wasn't in there. My old man sauce. Um, but I like to have that for back pain, shoulder pain, all that good stuff. Knee pain. Days get long when you're fat and out of shape. So, anyways, short of this video is lay everything out and see what you're wanting to take on a daily basis. See what your, what your primary setup is. And what your secondary setup is. I mean, it's not too awful hard to, you know, throw it all out there and be like, all this has to go in X bag. If I would have done this four bags ago, I probably wouldn't have bought two of them. That's besides the point. So, this is all the gear. Not all the gear. This is some of the gear that goes with, I have another setup that I carry as well, but it fits in the place of all of these. If you'd like to see each carry bag or each setup specifically, why I have it that way, why I use it that way, and I'm talking with my hand, so you get a little flutter over here, why I use it that way, just leave a comment. Um, I'm probably going to do a video on this little guy here pretty soon. This is a neat little item. So if you'd like to see a video on this Nightcore BB2, that's not a lie, that doesn't mislead you on what it actually is, leave a comment. Other than that, 
Leave a comment on anything you want. Hence, leave a comment. Like, subscribe. I'd really like to get up to 5,000 subscribers if I could. The only way to do that is if you please just hit the thumbs up. Hit subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Um, I don't have any sponsors. Nobody buys any of this for me. This is all, all me. So, my opinion, you can take it for whatever you want. I really don't care. It's my opinion. There's a reason and a purpose. I purchase everything. And my line of work is efficiency management and inventory management. So, I try to be as streamlined and efficient as possible in every function I can. Because I'm just that lazy. I, You know, if I can figure out a way to do things in one step, I'll do it in one step. If it has to take five, I want to make sure every five steps are, you know, worthwhile. But anyways, leave a comment, will you? Let me know what you think.